Hey everybody, Jason with Celestron. Our next question on our Dear Celestron videos comes in asking is, what is a red dot finder scope and do I need one? Well, let's just break it down. What is a finder scope? Finder scope is just a simple optical device to help you uh, point your main optics, your main telescope at the object you wanna see. It's a way of easily finding it. So then when you look in your telescope, that object will be there. Every time I have a friend who asks me, uh, can you help me with my telescope? I'm having a tough time using it. The first thing I ask them is, did you align your finder scope yet? And most of the time I get crickets. So let's talk about what is a finder scope, how to align it, and where does the red dot finder play into it? So here is your standard red dot finder that comes on a lot of Celestron telescopes. Um, this right here mounts right up on the telescope like this. To get this aligned, the first thing you have to do is you have to get the main optics and this seeing the exact same thing. And the easy way to do that is to take the telescope outside during the day. Find a, a street sign or a telephone pole or something just further away. And in the main optics, right, or the main part of the telescope, position and find that, that object and get it in there. Next, get your finder scope on the telescope, right? Have that mounted on here and use the adjustments that move the red dot, right? And get that seeing the same thing. Now, what I tell everybody is once you've done that, you're like 80% there, but we need to get to 100%. So then at dusk, when you start seeing some stars outside, you should be able to take the finder scope like this and point it at that certain object, right? A, a star up in the sky. And look in your field of view of your main eyepiece. It might be there, but it might be really close. Now what you're gonna wanna do is center that star in the main eyepiece, get that nice and centered right here, and then use the adjustments to center that star in the finder scope. Now what happens is anytime you wanna look at something, if you know darn well, hey, that's Jupiter right there and I wanna look at it, point the dot on Jupiter, look inside your telescope, and you're gonna see it right in the middle. That's as simple as it gets. A Couple of things to keep in mind when using a red dot finder, uh, they run on a battery, right? So when you're done, make sure to turn it off, otherwise the next time you use it, it's not gonna work. Uh, another tip, here's our Star Pointer Pro, it comes on a number of other telescopes. Um, they have a brightness adjustment, both of these have that. So a lot of times you look at it and go, oh, I can't even see the red dot. Turn that dial, get that brighter so you can actually see it. Because a lot of times if you're looking during the day, you're not gonna see it at its dim setting. It won't even be there. So you gotta crank that up. So get your telescope out during the day, align it on something, street sign, telephone pole, get these two seeing the exact same thing. That makes everything so much smoother after that. Um, I think the most important part to remember is if you skip over this step and say, I'm just going to go out and look, and you know that that's Saturn or that's Jupiter, I tell you what, trying to find something just with the power of the telescope, especially as a beginner and saying, hey, I'm just going to point that at Jupiter, you're going to be there a while. It's not easy. It can be done, but it's not easy. Take the time to get your finder scope aligned with the main optics Red dot finders are such an easy way to go. Now, there's other kinds of finder scopes besides red dot finders. Uh, this is our Star Pointer Pro. This is our standard red dot finder. Uh, they accomplish basically the same thing. They project a red dot or circle that allows you to align your optics. Then there's optical finders, like little mini telescopes. I, I don't happen to have one right here in front of me, but you see them on many other telescopes where they might have a little magnification, like an eight power with a 50 millimeter objective. It's just a little mini telescope that sits on the telescope. Essentially does the same thing. It has a crosshair in it, like a scope would, and you do the same thing. I think more and more as the technology has changed and these are getting so easy, more people are just turning to the simple red dot because there's no magnification. It's very simple to adjust and sight it in. And once you got it done, you're just kind of done with it. It's just something you don't have to think about anymore. So get out there, align your finder scope to your main optics and 
tell you what, after that, using your telescope is just going to be a breeze. Thanks, everybody. Looking forward to more questions.